I'm sure if you're like me, you've heard about the difference between name brand and off-brand chips. Essentially, the legend goes that they're made in the exact same factory, and the only difference is that the name brand costs more because you're buying the logo. Or we've heard stories about how, take prescription medication for example, it's those evil corporations that charge so much and as soon as their patent comes up then you can buy the generic brand for cheaper therefore paying for high-end name brand stuff is always a waste of your time it's a totally bogus assumption you can look at it from the perspective of just the simple economics of how we get to certain things but even more importantly they're not always the same thing yes your chips may be the same your medication may be the same but you know what i've had generic like big bag fruit loops and they suck or there are other things in life that are terrible compared to the value that you get from investing in something that costs more and then taking care of it. Because not only do you get a better product, but it enhances your life more than an inferior product will. So I wanna give you three examples of that today. Now the first one is obviously gonna be a style one. So let's talk about a pair of Goodyear welted shoes. Now, yes, you can go to a generic shop in the mall and you can buy a pair of dress shoes for hundred bucks and odds are in a year you will find yourself back at that same mall buying another pair of shoes for 100 bucks because the leather that they're made from is garbage the glue that they use the construction materials everything about those shoes is designed to fall apart after just a moderate amount of wear and then after that there's nothing you can do about it however you invest in a high quality pair of goodyear welted shoes yes you will pay a lot more You'll pay a lot more, but your cost overall throughout your lifetime can end up being quite a bit less because not only will those shoes wear longer, but then after five years or six years or however many years, then you don't have to totally replace them. You just send them to a cobbler who puts a new pairs of soles on them and bam, you are right back at it having only invested a small percentage of that cost back into those shoes. And then not only that, not only do they last longer and you end up paying less per step taken on those shoes, but they look better and they feel more comfortable once that quality leather gets broken into your feet. So you have less expensive over the long run, better looking, and so it contributes to all the positives that come from your style and having that be enhanced, and they fit more comfortably. The only downside is you pay more money up front, and that's not really even a downside if you understand the value of it and you just put the money away and you save up and you go that route. Let's take another example. Take a vacuum, and I know that you're probably thinking, okay, a vacuum, but okay. When you think of the top of the line name brand vacuum, you probably think of who I do, and that's Dyson. We've owned Dyson's for years and they have the reputation that they do. In fact, we just got their new cordless vacuum, and not only is it better than other vacuums we used, including Dyson as far as the amount of suction, the amount of time it takes for my wife to clean up or for me to be able to clean up in my car or anything else, Else, that is better but by going with a cordless option which yes costs more than the $99 you can pick up at the big box department store vacuum but by going with that then my life becomes easier my wife's life becomes easier because rather than cleaning becoming this big ordeal then it's something that you can just kind of maintain as you go while the quality of the suction is still there. And so when you think about it from the perspective of it takes less time and does a better job, then again, you pay a little bit more up front, but the value of my time and the value of my wife's time is worth more than that initial investment. And so the time that is saved by being able to maintain cleanliness as opposed to deep diving on cleaning things, way more than makes up for that price difference. And that's again, ignoring the fact that it's just a better vacuum overall. Third example, take a really, really fine fountain pen. Now, there are not a lot of occasions, especially now, in which you need to use a pen at all, let alone a nice couple hundred dollar fountain pen. But when you have one, you find yourself with reasons to use it. I got one of these as a gift when I graduated from college and I use it when I'm writing in my journal because that's the kind of thing that I hope continues to get passed on for generations even though some of the things I write in there may be mundane or silly. I use it when I'm writing thank you notes. When people do good things for me, 
I use it when I'm signing contracts for things that are a big deal because there's a certain weight to those activities. And just like your clothing can affect your own internal presence and affect your presentation when you interact with people, the tools that you use can do the same thing. Now, does it necessarily write any better? Well, yeah, actually, by using a fountain pen, it writes more smoothly, I get better ink flow, but none of that is really going to make that big of a difference when it comes to signing a contract to buy a new house or anything like that. But what it does for me as far as getting me into my mental state and helping me with my own presence and being present as I'm there doing something that's a bigger deal, writing in my journal, writing somebody a thank you note, signing a big important document, just the weight and the heft of that one instrument helps and it changes things. And so again, is it worth the investment? Well, yeah, especially because this is the kind of thing that I can give to my son when he graduates from college. I'm not gonna give him some crappy three cent pen as like, well, here's your graduation gift. No, of course, because then there's the emotional value that comes along with it, the, the longevity, the heritage that comes with it. And any nice thing that you buy, the thing that you need to do is buy the best that you can afford and then take care of it. Because whether it's a vacuum, a pair of shoes, a pen, if you don't take care of it, if you don't treat it well, then all of a sudden you have wasted all of that money. So whether you're thinking about buying a custom suit or you want a better camera because you're starting a YouTube channel or you just wanna be able to clean your home more effectively and efficiently, buy the best that you can afford in anything, in anything, buy the best that you can afford take good care of it and watch as it starts to benefit your life. So I wanna give a big thank you to Dyson for sponsoring this video. If you were interested in checking out this awesome vacuum, I have a link down here below. Whether you're the one who does the cleaning in your home or it's somebody else, this machine can be a game changer. And just like the other things that I've talked about, buy the best you can afford, take good care of them, and they will take care of you. I wanna hear from you. Tell me, what is something that you were initially hesitant about spending that much money on, and once you did, you found out that it was completely worth the purchase, if not spending double what you did, because there are things out there that are worth that kind of money. So, leave me a comment below. Wanna know what the right route for style is for you? Check this link out right here. You wanna see more videos like this one? Check this out right here. And just like I said, leave me a comment. Make sure if you are not already that you subscribe right here, and I will talk to you guys on the next one.